Oh, AI. The last time we talked, I was jumping into some of the new updates that Notion has been making to the AI improvements of their system. If you go into this task template or any of the Notion project system that they seem to be talking about, you'll see that some of these different items have a myriad of AI improvements. And more specifically, there's an AI improvement made to fields. So right here, you'll see that there's a text field that has this little AI moniker right here. So what does that even mean? So when I click on this property, first of all, it seems like there's a bunch of different suggested properties now. So size your task with popular methods and custom options. If I press suggested and do points here, you'll see that this estimate section here is now there with a select property with different numbers. So really interesting kind of number sprint stuff. Uh, it seems like they're trying to give that next step towards auto suggested properties, but they're using it through templates so that we sort of see where they're going with it before giving us the options. I haven't noticed this natively within Notion. I'm curious to see what everyone here sees, but for this property with AI, all we need to do is press add and then text. And you'll notice here that there's an option for AI autofill. So right there was a summary, but the options that we have within this, if we press the fill options is fill with, and then we have summary, key info and custom autofill. So as you can see here, this summary showcases what is within here. So this document provides instructions for inviting team members to collaborate on a tasks. Use the share menu to invite team members and assign tasks using the assignee field. Team members will receive a notification in their sidebar. So you see that that was what was said in this text area below. So I'm gonna do a new item here and say, great YouTube videos and the description Let's see if that connects to what the autofill happens here. So if I write in the description, sitting down in front of the camera for one hour means people will be able to record about three YouTube videos. If I click on this and press update right here. You'll see that it summarizes to create YouTube videos, plan to sit down in front of the camera for an hour to record three videos. So it takes the context of the name of it, uh, and the text within the page, which is really nice. So we basically are taking a summary of the context within here. So then if I add another property, for example, and then put the text item here, let's do AI autofill and select key info. So auto update page on edits is another option, but we're not gonna do that. Let's do what key info to extract. So key topics and bullets or people mentioned in the page. Let's do key topics in bullets. So try on this page, oh, key topics. So now it's gonna showcase the name, some info about the task ID status and all that whatnot. So if I, for example, were to use Notion AI in this context and say slash AI, or just do the space, what are five ways to create good YouTube videos and have it spit it out and do done. Now I'm gonna have this guy, when I click on here, you either can click on this or click on and press update. So let's do this. So we'll then take those key points from this bottom section. So it segmented it into these five tips, showed the five tips, gave me some info there. So I can change this to something else though. So if I actually edit the property, what this toggle does is you'll see is that with Notion AI, so I'm actually you know, full-fledged paying for it. What'll happen here, so now with this upgrade, if I press auto update on page edits, press save changes and turn on the auto update, Say, for example, I were to remove this section, it should automatically, based on the setting, auto update on the page edits, which is crazy to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by what this can mean. I'm not really quite sure whether this is gonna work very well or very often, but it, it, it works. Next, if we go to edit property once again, we also can do a custom autofill. So create ideas, we do create ideas for other tasks based on this task's information. Do save changes, turn on auto update, and do uh, possible tasks, and then I'm gonna press update here. So it basically had a custom prompt that takes the entire context of this within here and then gives this to you. Now, this is interesting because it only really works for text properties, right, at the moment. Like I can't edit this and like it'll be a, a new thing. Like no, it's not, it's not, not an option here. But what if this ends up being the case for other things? What if it ends up having AI figure out like, oh, this is definitely like done. Let's change the status. I'm not sure. We don't know. What are the different ways that this thing can work? I mean, it's figuring out page context and putting it into a text block. Sure, like what do they want a cookie? But maybe if we give it more feedback, maybe if we give some more improvements here, we 
we can find some crazy updates to how Notion AI works. I don't know. But with summary, key topics, and this custom fill-in, I mean, it's more than we had before, so I'm not going to complain. Are you going to upgrade to Notion AI? Maybe you should. There's way more features now. Maybe you shouldn't. You don't want to pay the money. I don't really know what you're going to do. Not really uh, something I'm going to force your hand on, but it is very interesting. And so is this video on how to improve your productivity even more.